Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks by Geeks platform. So today's problem is stack permutations, right? So we'll be understanding the problem statement first and the logic part. And then we'll be proceeding to the coding part, right? But before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel till now, it will really motivate me to create more such content for you. And I believe the channel will be helpful for you. We are continuously putting a placement related information and the job opportunities, coding questions on our channel. So I believe it will help you a lot. So make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell icon too, and do join our Telegram community. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. So with that note, let's get started with the problem statement. So the problem says, you are given two arrays A and B of unique elements of size N. So size of both the arrays are same and they are having unique elements. Now we have to check if one array is a stack permutation of the other array or not. Now what do they mean by stack permutation? So stack permutation means that one array can be created from another array using the stack and stack operations, right? So that's what a uh, stack permutation means. Uh, you are having two arrays, A and B. So if you can create, uh, let's say you took array A, right? So if you can create array B, from array A by using stack operations. What are those? Push and pop, right? Okay, so for this one, right, n equal to four, let's understand with the help of this an example. So we are here, we are having n equal to three. Uh, for A, the elements are one, two, three, and for B, the elements are two, one, three. So here the output is one. It means that we can, it means that we can create uh, array B from array A, right? Okay, so that's what the thing is. Uh, so see how they are creating. So first what we can do is we took a stack. Obviously you have to take a stack and so they have mentioned that we can create, uh, we have to take a stack and we can use a stack operation, right? So we will be taking a, a, a stack, right? So to that stack, let's say you push one first, right? You have to use this array, array A and from this array you have to check if we can create array B or not. So um, in your stack first we pushed one, right? Next we pushed two. Right, so now what is the element at the top of the stack 2? Because stack follows first, uh, stack follows leaf right? Last in first out. So last we have inserted two more now, so that will be a first out. So that's how we do have an stack. So now there are two elements in the stack 1 and 2, where 2 is at the top. So what next they are doing in the stack 3? You can see they are popping 2 from stack 2 B, pop 1 from stack 2. B, right, and push three from A to stack. So you can see this two and two is matching. Then in your stack you will be left with one. So one and one is matching, right? Then next what they are doing is they are pushing three from A to stack and pop three from stack to B, right? So that's how you can see we can get the two one three, right, from array A, right? So we can say that uh, uh, this A is what the stack permutation, right? So array A is what is a stack permutation of other array because we are able to create uh, other array that is B uh, using a stack and stack operations. For this one, if you will check, right? So for this one, um, we are getting the output as zero. It means that it is not possible for this one. Okay. Now the question is easy, just a sort of observation is involved, and then I believe that we will be able to solve. Even once I let you know the logic, right? So then also, I think implementation part will be able to do by yourself. So what our task is, uh, our task is to complete the given function is stack permutation, which takes two arrays, A and B, as inputs and returns one. If it is a stack permutation, otherwise returns zero. Now expected time complexity is big of n and expected auxiliary space is big of n. Right? So obviously we'll be using a stack, right? So for that, there would be space of n, so expected auxiliary space is big of n. So now let's understand the logic, right? Or uh, basically how we can how we can uh, solve this particular problem. What should be the logic? So let's say this is the arrays we are having array A and array B, right? Now, uh, so as I mentioned that we'll be taking a stack, so let's take a stack here. So um, see here, just observe in the question. From this array, we want this one. Like we have to check if we can achieve this thing or not, or not from array if we can achieve this thing or not. 
so and also we can use the stack operations so what we can do so first of all you come across this one right so just push this one to the stack okay then you come across this two so just push this two to the stack right so now you can see the first element that i want or that is there for array b that is two so you can see uh, this element and the element that i do have at the top of the stack the both are matching so what i can do is i can pop this element out right it means like okay we got a like we be sure okay we got a sort of surety okay so these two elements got match it means we are done with one element we got a match for the first element then again now also you can see what is the element at the top at the stack now that is one and also on the next index so zero to index first index okay second index on the first index also the element is one so we got another match okay so again pop this out then if you will see right so then next element that we do have is three and uh, as of now our stack is empty okay but we are yet we are yet remaining with one other element that is there in the array a so push that also push that also in the stack right so again if you will see now that the element that is there at the second index is equal to that of the element that is there at the top of the index. again we got a match right so just pop this up so our stack is empty so basically the thing is that uh, this is the thing that only we have to do right now all the steps that i did right so that's the only thing that we have to do what we have to do we have to push the element to the stack right till the time we are not getting not getting what we are not finding that the element that is the in the in the array b is equal to that of the element at the top of the stack so from the first element itself we have to check right so here you can see the first itself got a match with the element that was at the top of the stack so what we did we popped out the element again after popping out we were having one and on the next index on the first index we were having one so again we got a match and hence we popped out the element it means that you have to repeatedly pop out the element till the time your stack is not empty and the element at the top of the stack right that is equal to the element in the in the array b right so you have to check for the elements at first for zero for second right there. so for that you can use a variable of which value to maintain the indexing part and which value you can increment right then uh, next time what happened right the stack became empty right the stack became empty okay and also there can be possibility that there is some element but it is not equal to that of the element that we want because at the next index or uh, at the second index we want three okay so in that scenario what we'll do if we didn't got a match or if the stack became empty simply nothing we'll explore or uh, we'll push the remaining elements so here what was the case that stack became empty and still there was one element remaining so what was that that was three simply push that element so we push that element and again we found a match right again we found a match and we uh, what we did we popped out that element from the stack right and now we are done with all the elements that are there in the array right so we are done with the explanation of all the elements that are there in the array so we will stop right there now how you can make sure how you can be sure that okay this this array b can be created from array a when the stack is empty right so we can simply check that if our stack is empty we we are sure that this array b can be created from array a this is the stack permutation right so we'll be simply returning one but if this is not the case we'll be simply returning zero right so then these are the these are the steps that we have to follow and that's it right so i hope the logic part is clear for you if it's still not clear just do a uh, dry dry run from your end you'll be able to understand right and once logic is clear will be able to write the code by yourself so don't have a look on the code for now write it by yourself and then you can cross check right so now um, again we have to do the coding part right so let's have a look on the code now so here is the code for the logic that we just discussed right so we are having the stack st and this is for maintaining the index right we have to move to the next next element for array b or here they have given array b is out Okay, this is the input one. This is the output one. Okay, so what we are doing, we are simply taking a loop for int i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus, so that we can traverse the elements of the array, right? And first, we are pushing the element 
to our stack right and now here what we're doing is we are simply checking that if the element that is there at the top of the stack it is equal to that of the um, element that is there at the jth index so as of now j value is zero so at the zeroth index of the array op right if that is the case then we will be simply moving inside this if condition and then here we have this why this loop because we have to keep on popping the element from the stack till the time our stack is not empty and we are getting a match okay so uh, that's what we are doing here so st dot pop and we are keep we are implementing the index as well so that we can check for the elements right in the array op right so that's what we are doing here uh, okay and once you are done with all this loops, right you are done with all this loop right so at the end what simply we are doing is we are simply checking that if our stack is empty so for that what we are doing is that if the size of the stack is equal to equal zero so we can say that is empty right there is no element so we are simply returning one otherwise we are returning zero right so now like that was the whole approach for the given problem statement i hope that it was clear for you i have provided the code in the comment in, sorry in the description right so you can check from there what the reference purpose it is there right so thank you so much for watching this video guys don't forget to share and subscribe my channel